The News Project's I team has learned why a Douglas Anderson teacher who had been accused of inappropriate conduct this spring was placed back in the classroom at the start of the school year, only to be removed again a few weeks later. Documents reveal Corey Thayer, the head of the Cinematic Arts Department, was cleared by the school administration back in May of allegations regarding current students. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Ann Maxwell has been covering the Thayer case from the beginning, and the most serious allegations came from former students, and after backlash, Thayer is now being investigated once again. Yeah, Tom, stakeholders are angry with how the school district is following up on their pledge to investigate allegations of misconduct at Douglas Anderson. I talked to one former student today who said they are groomed them throughout their senior year, and although it wasn't physical, they say the psychological damage was real. Records from Duval County Public Schools show Corey Thayer's removal from the classroom at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts this spring was prompted by an email from a former student alleging inappropriate communication. Thayer was reassigned away from students as the district investigated. Records show the Office of Professional Standards received 11 additional emails about Thayer from DA students, parents, and graduates. Six of them were in his support, including one signed by half a dozen DA seniors. In another email, the parent of a former student alleged Thayer had touched their daughter inappropriately close to 10 years ago. Records show an investigation from around that time conducted by Duval County Schools Police was closed without finding evidence of wrongdoing. Around the time of the investigation this spring, several former students wrote letters to the school board regarding teachers at DA, including Thayer. One of those students, Dean Simmons, wrote of being groomed by Thayer as a senior in 2014 and 2015. I definitely felt like he was flirting with me, especially over text. Simmons, who now uses he, his pronouns, said Thayer sent lyrics from sexual songs and gave long bear hugs every time they saw each other. And that the text continued for a year or two after graduation. I ended up feeling like I had my senior year of high school just wasted and consumed by this intense secret emotional relationship and I had felt like like that part of my childhood was entirely gone. The investigative report suggests that neither Simmons nor the parent who said their child was inappropriately touched were ever contacted as part of the investigation this spring. But an investigator did interview six randomly selected current female students from each of Thayer's classes. All of them said they had never seen Thayer do anything inappropriate. In conclusion, the teacher received a letter warning that his behaviors of teasing students, meeting with them privately, and playing favorites could lead to misconduct. But he was cleared of allegations that he was inappropriate with current students. And Thayer was removed from the classroom once again about a week ago after Simmons and that other former student who was alleging Thayer touched them about 10 years ago went to the school district's attorney and said they would participate, give testimony in an investigation. We have reached out to Thayer and the school district today, but we haven't yet heard back. Joy? And